the European Space Agency essentially provides a global perspective of the changing climate from space. What we really do is we provide the evidence base. So we deliver the data and the information um, that is necessary to actually quantify how our climate is changing. And uh, this is the information that is then used by national authorities, by governments, by policymakers to implement their actions on their regional or national level to actually address, for example, um, how the NDCs are implemented. But ESA is actually um, part and parcel of the whole, I would say, food chain of uh, climate research. Um, for example, um, right starting at uh, the infrastructure that you actually need to uh, provide such data, we are developing um, satellite missions that are looking back to Earth, uh, amongst other things in the European Space Agency. And um, these satellite data uh, actually provide us with a large um, variety of different data sets that are relevant for quantifying how our climate is changing. Uh, we're also looking at uh, the scientific questions that uh, lay under uh, all these, um, or the comprehension of how our climate is actually changing. So for instance, uh, we're using a lot of um, models uh, to predict into the future uh, what is going to happen with our climate. These models have an ever-increasing ever uh, need for uh, initializing data, but also they're getting more and more into finer resolutions. And that actually leads uh, us, uh, for instance, in ESA also, to understand better what the underlying processes are, how our atmosphere and the oceans and ice and land are actually um, interacting, so the fluxes in between these different spheres. Technology is at the heart of activities from ESA. Um, as I said, we are developing missions ourselves um, based on the user requirements that are put forward from European citizens, for example, from the European Union, uh, from consultation with various other organizations. And on the basis of this, we are trying to ever improve the measurements that we can actually uh, provide. But for that, you need to have a very um, vibrant technology um, development program and that's that's basically underpins everything that we're doing in ESA in developing these uh, Earth observation satellite missions. Um, for example the CO2 mission that I mentioned earlier um, that's a very uh, novel concept that we are putting in place uh, to measure these uh, atmospheric concentrations of CO2 um, which hasn't been done before and for, for doing this of course you have uh, a number of years to develop such a technology. So that's, that's very important and that's our main role maybe in this um, collaboration and uh, coordinated management of the Copernicus program with the European Union and with UMITSAT. We are essentially the system architect and part and parcel of that is to develop the appropriate technology from our side.